Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Mike Terry, and this is the second video in the Dispatches Ride for Veterans series that I'm producing to bring awareness to veterans issues here in Canada. Uh, today I wanna to talk to you about uh, my inspiration for taking this ride. Uh, it goes back to the 29th of March of 2018. CBC ran a story about Sheldon Roberts. Um, now, Sheldon was a sniper in the 2nd Battalion, the Royal Canadian Regiment in Gagetown, New Brunswick. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have known Sheldon for, for quite some time. And, you know, he was, he was brave enough to share his story and, and publicly. And um, I just want to talk kind of about how that affected me. Um, Sheldon shared his struggles and he shared things that a lot of us veterans experience when we retire I'm sure uh, certainly I've experienced them there's the loss of identity um, you know uh, for, for him there was there's a loss of physical capability um, he's had anger issues because of his diagnosis um, he's experienced loss of friends hypervigilance um, you know and he experienced the um, the very strong desire to redeploy right away and and certainly I know those are things that I can identify with and those are things that I know a lot of veterans can identify with um, he also expressed this feeling of, of weakness uh, at his injury and that is definitely definitely something I have struggled with myself for a very long time um, and he even opened up enough to say that he he sobbed in the doctor's office when he was given the diagnosis and um, I can't say that I did. However, that moment came about 17 years later for me, um, you know, just about a year ago. And uh, when I walked into uh, 31 Health Services in Borden and, and spoke to a nurse there and essentially just, just said, listen, I can't do this anymore. And, and that's where that, that moment of reality hit me. Um, so I think it's very important um, that we as veterans are open and honest about, um, about these struggles that we have because it's easy to feel like you're alone in them. Um, the other thing that struck me about Sheldon's story was he shared what kept him grounded. Um, he shared that, you know, uh, he, he plays his guitar to calm down. Um, and he also expressed that uh, the birth of his grandson was a, was a huge moment and a, and a huge um, anchoring point for him. Um, and that's what gave him his purpose to stay in the fight, to not give up. So that's what I want to share with people. I want to share the fact that, yeah, we do struggle. Uh, I want to share the fact that we can be open and honest about it, but I want to share the fact that there are things in our lives that we can find purpose and fulfillment in and big or small, doesn't matter. Uh, that's a very personal thing. So. You know, um, for me, what I'm doing right now, um, this is how I am fighting isolation. This is how I'm finding purpose uh, by hopefully serving others. Um, this is my chance after, you know, 17 years to, to start speaking very honestly and frankly about my struggles and you know, uh, part of that is, is coming out to myself. Um, so that's, that's what this journey is all about. That is what the uh, talking to other veterans is all about. Um, I really want to say thank you to Sheldon. Um, I know there is nobody who associates weakness with that man in any way. And thank you for being a leader. Thank you for continuing to be the leader you've always been and for, uh, you know, cer certainly for leading the way in this. Um, your story affected me very deeply. And um, YouTube, unfortunately, I, I don't have the viewership to put links in the videos. So down in the description, you're going to find a link to Sheldon's story. Um, To everybody else out there, I encourage you to come forward and talk. I've already had a couple people contact me and say they're willing to share their stories, and that is awesome. That, that is all I can ask for out of this. Um, please share and subscribe. Um, get the word out there. Let's get people talking. Um, you can email me at 
dispatches2018 at outlook.com to get in touch and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and finally, if you go down in the descriptions, you'll see a GoFundMe page. If you want to help me, you know, help make sure that I can get out there and connect with veterans, get their stories and share them. Thank you so much.